This is Frank. Frank loves to eat. Frank also loves to sleep. Frank has a desire for procreation. In other words, Frank's purpose in life is to survive. The fight and flight mechanism is associated with survival. Therefore, Frank is likely to become angry or frightened. To better survive, Frank needs to be competitive. Therefore, Frank ensures he looks his best. He ensures he looks strongest. He strives to gain a lot of wealth and fame. And when he sees someone superior to him, he feels jealous. And when he finds someone inferior to him, he feels pride. Frank is living in the world of his lower nature. He's concerned only with the things of the body. Every happiness that Frank finds is temporary, lasting only a short while. So, he's never truly happy. And as such, he tries to get away from it all through various means. But Frank comes to a turning point. He notices that his dog acts according to its instincts. It sleeps, eats, wanders. It is a captive to its desires. Frank realizes that he has become a captive to his lower nature and decides to embark on a journey leading him to discover his higher spiritual nature. After a year, Frank is a very different man. Now, rather than seeking his own good, he considers the good of others. Rather than being greedy, Frank learns to be generous. He fights against ease and comfort to give more of his time to society. He finds pure love and service instead of lust. He learns to be humble and takes great joy in the progress of others. Instead of competing, he learns to cooperate. Frank has died to his lower self and has been reborn to his higher self. He is now concerned with spiritual things, that is, the service to others. And in finding his true purpose, Frank has found his true joy.